The Domestication of Man A Future Vision by Those Who Have Acknowledged the Past Humankind made the development from living as a nomad to being a citizen. But what is to come? The factors of life from nomads were basically the landscape, food and animals. Their tools were based on survival and necessity. When civilizing, these factors of life model and shift towards the background. The value of a tool is not in the purpose of the tool anymore, but the tool, the object itself, holds the value. Tools become more autonomous and are not relying on the interference of human anymore. Human share in product use is decreasing. This development results in more dependence of the user on its tools. Human fully trust on the correctness of outcome of the tools. An example given is the calculator. Nobody questions the answer which the calculator gives. The citizen has become dependent on its tools and secretly cannot live without them. This dependence on tools and the partly autonomous behavior of these tools results in a decrease of the human practicing skills. In this way, we outsource our knowledge and skills to intelligent products. In time, this outsourcing will alter to losing the knowledge and skills in humanity. Robots are packing boxes. Calculators are doing the math. This development will create the conviction that a person that is packing a box is somebody who saw a robot doing this and copied this behavior. A person who is able to do math figured out how the calculator operates. This point of view will manifest in adopting the skills and knowledge from products. A child is taught a new language by a robot toy. A man is so dependent on his phone, which developed over time into a multi-purpose device which structures his life, that he is not able to function anymore without this device when the battery is dead and there's no power source to charge. It is like the domestication of man by products like a person trapped in a room because the automatic door sensor is not functioning. All that is left is the ability of man to be able to think and innovate. Products as we will know them will in the end not be seen as man-made. Self-sustaining products become rather scary because they outruled the influence of human. Therefore a hint of humanity like the need for a battery or software that requires updates is the last reminder that these products are man-made marvels. Yet, these reminders, hints of humanity, are seen as limitations by those who innovate. Within 100 years, innovators will diminish these reminders of human influence and will demand qualities like self-sustainability and independence in their products. We should reconsider this kind of demands and alter the limitations into advantages to see humanity as an added value in products. This all is necessary to interfere with the domestication of man by products. But how? Well, since there are numerous embodiments of this added value, our concept is just one of them. Consider the human qualities. That's right. Divergent thinking is one of them. With the set of objects you were exposed to at the beginning, you witness this quality. The ability to create your own value with a set of objects which have no functionality. You create meaning. Without divergent thinking, the set of objects means nothing. Without man, there's no divergent thinking. With this, we restore the focus of innovation on creating value in the purpose of tools and the preservation of human qualities. And thereby, we resist against the domestication of man. Thank <laughs> you.